The Frozen Porcupine build is a build that I've already featured on the channel once before. However, unlike the previous entry, this is the fully optimized meta setup for the build. Essentially, the Frozen Porcupine is a build that revolves around proccing Frost and Bleed ailments at the same time. As you can imagine, this holds both PvE and PvP capabilities alike, and will excel in pretty much any situation. The Frozen Porcupine is all about using the spiked spears to lay immense pressure on your enemies. By infusing one spear with Chilling Mist and the other with Seppuku, you'll reach a point where you'll either proc both Frost and Bleed at the same time, or within close proximity to each other. Considering the speed and range of the spear class in general, this places an emphasis on aggressiveness overall, garnering an offensive playstyle which excels in punishing heals and roll catching. In order to recreate the Frozen Porcupine build in Elden Ring, you'll need the following items to boot. Spiked Spears, Chilling Mist, Seppuku, White Mask, Crimson Burst Crack Tear, Green Burst Crack Tear, Rotten Wing Sword Insignia, Millicent's Prothesis, Spear Talisman, Lord of Blood's Exaltation, and Erd Tree Heal. The optimal way to engage with such a build is to cover your drawbacks as best as possible. One such drawback is the fact that you'll lose a chunk of health every time you set up the build. So cast Urge Tree Heal and drink your Physic to heal. Another benefit to the Physic is the Green Burst Crack Tier, which increases stamina recovery. This will be especially important for the build, seeing as it's incredibly stamina intensive. Well, that will be all for the Frozen Porcupine build, so for now, please sit back, grab a snack, relax, and enjoy the rest of the video.